Hello, and welcome to another of our Study Island V3 sneak peek videos. I'm Jessica Ellis, and in this video, we're going to take a closer look at text-to-speech functionality. Text-to-speech will allow students to highlight text and have it read to them aloud from within Study Island without having to install any external software or plugins. As you may know, we have had text-to-speech available in the past, but only for grades K and 1. Now, it will be available for all grade levels. We've also improved the quality of the pre-existing text-to-speech for grades K and 1. So let's take a look at how that will work for you. I'm already logged in as a student and have a session going. So when a student has access to text-to-speech, it will appear here above the question. In order for the system to read the passage or the question, the student will just need to highlight the text and click the play button. Locate the word unsuccessful in the passage. They can also use the pause button to pause the speech or the stop button to stop it completely. Text-to-speech will default to being off for all students. You'll have the ability to turn it on for your students by going into the adjust student difficulty from your admin page if you're an admin or from your school stats page if you're a teacher. Since this feature is meant to be used for students with special needs, we don't advise using it with all of your students. So that has been a look at text-to-speech. We hope you'll find it useful. If you have any questions or want to discuss this with fellow Study Island users, you can just visit our forums by going to www.studyisland.com and clicking on the Island Community Forums icon at the top right of the page. We will see you next time, and as always, thank you for using Study Island.